and old Nicole Kidman does her best Dirty Harry impression this week. I'm Adamic to tell you about the film Destroyer. But first, hit that little subscribe button in the bottom left corner. And now, Destroyer. This film features an aged and haggard Nicole Kidman, or a Nicole Kidman without makeup. I don't know. She looks much older than usual in this film, but she is 51 now, so maybe this is what she looks like without makeup. Or maybe they had to draw a bunch of stuff on to make it look like she's lived a harder life than she has. I'm not sure. Uh, but this is the most beat up you've ever seen Nicole Kidman. She's got wrinkles and age spots. It's a very different look for her. Now, in Destroyer, Nicole Kidman is an old grizzled cop who is back to tracking down a gang of bank robbers that she's been after for years. She's got a history with them. That She's got a vendetta against the gang leader. The story is told in a sort of non-linear way. You see an old Nicole Kidman, she'll track down a gang member, and then you get a flashback scene that shows what that gang member used to look like when they were younger and kind of how the robbery came together. It's a very different role for Nicole Kidman. It's a very flawed character, so acting-wise, probably a fun challenge for her. If you look at what she's been doing lately, it seems to all be about challenging herself with odd roles. In the past year, she's played the leader of a group of punks in How to Talk to Girls at Parties, the assistant in The Upside, about a man confined to a wheelchair. The mom in Boy Erase, it's about a gay kid getting sent to a conversion therapy camp. Aquaman's badass mom. She's also shot a bunch of TV episodes for Big Little Lies and The Undoing. Nicole Kidman's been all over the place. And some of these things have seemed like potential Oscar bait, which maybe is why she's doing them. You know, she's already made millions of dollars doing big blockbusters. She now has that freedom to go challenge herself or to go try to track down a couple more Oscars. She can have fun with stuff, and not all this is big-time commercial stuff, which is what Destroyer is. It's probably a lot of fun for her to play the character. Unfortunately, it wasn't a lot of fun to watch Destroyer. It's a mostly joyless movie. There's a few attempts at humor in early work. Every minute of the film is pushed to hyper-dramatic levels that almost border on parody of the genre. The soundtrack's just, like, super intense the whole way through. She'll be walking or driving, and you hear... It's not even like a scene that does anything. She's just driving from one point to the next. It's, it's kind of overbearing. Nicole Kidman seems almost to be overacting and that she's constantly tense and looking like she's about to snap, which really seems out of place in regards to the other characters who are just kind of like having regular days. She seems just unnecessarily terse and rude to everyone in the film. It also really feels like the writer or director or someone had a, a checklist of every gritty police drama cliche, and they were trying their damnest to check every one of those things off. Nicole Kidman is doing kind of a, a dirty, hairy impression. Her character is an alcoholic, has a failed marriage, rage issues, solves everything with violence, plays by her own rules, refuses to work with a partner, won't talk to the chief. It, it, there's so many of these cliches that, you know, maybe one or two can work on their own. But when you pile them all up on top of each other, it just starts collapsing on its own weight, and it, it just starts not being believable. You start thinking about it, you go, you know, she did half of these things. They'd arrest her even though she's the cop. Or she just could get shot by the bad guys. Like, this just isn't going to work. And it just feels like somebody wrote this who has no idea what police officers actually do. The film had some potential. I really wanted to like the, the film, but it's just the destroyer. It's just, it's so... It just drags on moodily, like a little kid stomping down a hall with no point to prove. There was one little glimmer of hope when Bradley Whitford showed up as a crooked lawyer. It was the only scene that felt fun. There was some self-awareness of the ridiculous tone of the film. But then that scene took a big old hard turn and, and just became kind of stupid and cliche as well. Destroyer is not the worst movie you'll ever see. But everything in it, you've already seen. And you've seen it done better in the other films. So why, why see it here? Two out of five stars. That's it for Destroyer. Uh, feel free to tell me what you think of it. If you agree, disagree, whatever, leave a comment uh, and explain it. You know, if you say, I like it and here's why, you know, maybe I'll see it and go, oh crap, I missed that. Yeah, this thing's brilliant. Or I, you know, go, nah, still crap. Uh, uh. Anyways, uh, go ahead, leave those comments. Also, check out the corners here. You got fun stuff there, there, there. You got the subscribe button down here. All that. I'm Adamic. See you later. Bye-bye.